welcome to the Earldom Take Part Challenge. We are Urban Canvas and would normally be bringing beautiful street painting to Oldham at one of the many town centre events. So we thought we would show you how you could do some creative painting in your gardens or on your doorstep. Come, Come and join us. us! So the first thing we need to do is decide where we're going to do this pavement art. So most people have got a garden or a patio area. So we'll have a look around. This is our home. So let's just have a look, see what we've got here. And do a walk. Around. Now the thing about pavement art is that the um, surface is everything. Okay, so we need to look at the surface, look where we can do stuff, and uh, the size and shape of it as, as well. Well, let's have a look around here. Um, quite like this space here. So. So we're cleaning our canvas, out, aren't we? Pretty much, yeah. Because the, the ground is our canvas, isn't it? Okay, Kath, but, um, you've given it a brush down now, so what's, yeah. what's the next thing that we need to think about? Uh, next thing you need to think about really is uh, a, a quick design, uh, maybe on an A4 sheet of blank paper, you can yes. do it at your kitchen table or at your desk, um, and something that's going to fit, fit into your space nicely. So the design just needs to be on a, 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 a line drawing, yeah, pen, just pencil a, drawing? Yeah, you could do a line drawing, pencil drawing, just give it some kind of idea of how it's going to be how it's going to look yes um if you did want to do it you could color it yes and then you can transfer your design onto the bigger canvas yes. here on but it's all about floor. preparation isn't it you preparation is the preparation key. makes it definitely doesn't it? so what materials do we need uh, we, we, we were told about this um recipe um of making um a paint from uh, using corn flour and a uh, food coloring see all the food colorants uh we haven't actually uh, done this before we haven't tried it, but there, apparently there are recipes online of how you can make it, and um, um, we're gonna we're gonna try and make some, and uh, and use it in our design. We'll see how that goes. Um, it'll but, be a little experiment. It'll be an experiment. We'll see what happens. chalk stick can you see that a chalk stick and I've got a little holder in the little chalk holder for chunky chalks and this is what we use when we do street art we use these chunky chalks and we stick these on there and that means that I can draw standing up I don't have to get on my knees and break my back so this is a good idea for you you know if you've got a piece of um, bamboo or um, a, 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 a dowling or something you can stick a bit of chalk on the end of it and you can stand up while you're doing it which makes it much easier to draw stuff okay so i'm just going to start drawing our design now and see where we start um just start drawing here so we start painting now and we do this exactly the same way as we've done the chalk only with paint and it just what it does is define it defines the area where we're going to be coloring in okay so we make it like a giant coloring book if you imagine them um, color books that you can get for adults and children you know the coloring you know the type mm. we use the pens and stuff to color in but this is like a giant version of that and uh, a bit like really, painted by numbers it's a bit like that but you don't yeah. you've got no numbers so you've got no numbers you just make up the colors yourself that's what we used to use wasn't it when we were kids yeah. really best thing is to make it up as you go along and invent 
you know. It's about creativity, it's about inventing something new. And having fun. Obviously. And having fun and uh, being expressive, expressing yourself. Now, and doing is, it in your own garden. This is, okay. a, yeah, and it doesn't have to, you know, I mean, if you look at how it was before we, um, before we did this and how it will be mm. afterwards and how you can... You'll be uh, really amazed. You will. It's, it's great. It's a great way to brighten it up. And who knows, your neighbours might want one as well, so you might make a few bob. <laughs> you never know, do you? You never know. So I've just mixed that poster paint. This is poster paint. Right, what colour have you got there? Like a nice pastel pink? It's like a fleshy colour, actually. Mm. That's what it and it's important, isn't it, not to get it too thick or too watery. No, it's you just, need it just like you need a to water single it cream. down a bit, just because it's a rough surface as well. Mm. So, um... Uh, the great thing about poster paint is it washes can, off yeah, in the rain, so all the colours we use, they all wash away, mm. which is great fun because as long as you take the photographs, if you've got photographs of your art, you've got a blank canvas. Mm. And remember, once it's washed away, you can always do another one as That's well. That's right. So you can add to your gallery. You just keep adding to it. Right. And so I'm going to just put in this outline. Good, wasn't it? Mm. We enjoyed doing that, didn't we? Good. Um, I hope it's. Um, well, you took a few hours. Yeah, only a, a couple, couple of hours. hours. It's a simple piece, and I hope it's inspired you to do some of your own art. And if it has, have a go. You know, that's what this challenge is all about: doing something new. Um, and it's abstract art, and it's it's transformed a, um, a rather boring and floor space, floor space, and um, back garden into something really quite nice look at that and what's the best thing about these um these little um abstract pieces Catherine when the you painted them on when you paint them on mm. um the best thing that is that they they transform a space maybe yeah. but not but not that but you can use them as oh, selfie zones yeah, can't you can. so you can <laughs> you can you do what you want with them after your that. own selfie zone just using paints yeah. and pe washable paints and try the, um, you should try the cornflower, cornflower and, and food fruit colouring colouring because yeah. that's, a, that's a great uh, Just Google recipe. it and there's, there's loads it. of recipes on, yep. uh, on the internet. Yep, or if not, you can just use poster paints and remember it will wash away in the rain. It'll stay for a few days but take plenty of photos and then you've got a brand new canvas to do something And if it new. does rain, you can always do another one after that. That's right. Time. And if you, if you make a mistake, don't worry about it. It's only art. It won't bite. It's great fun. And um, it's a great way to spend your time in, um, in lockdown. lockdown. And, um, um, and that's preparation it. for post-Covid. Yeah. And post-Covid, I mean, we'll look forward to seeing you all again in Oldham. Um, oh, and yeah. we'll, nice. when the festival's open again and we all start um, doing... Um, uh, events and, and stuff and getting together and doing art like this because we just love it. It's a great thing to do. Um, so uh, enjoy yourself, um, do your art and if, if you do some really good ones then post them up and um, yeah. we'll love, we'd love to see them. We'd love to see your, your creations. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. Bye! Bye, <laughs> Bye Oldham! <laughs>